Welcome to the Horse Hour podcast. We are at the National Equine Forum today. And one of the great things about the NEF is the Sir Colin Spedding Award. Each year, there are nominees that uh, you can nominate somebody through the National Equine Forum or through your local representative. And this year, we have three. And I'm joined by Bonnie Miller. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Exciting yes, day for exciting. you. Very exciting, it is. Because it really is. Not only could you win an award, but you <laughs> get it presented by the president of the NEF, which is mm-hmm. the HRH Princess Royal Anne. Yes, it was lovely downstairs just now. We had a nice conversation about what it was like to travel around America, where I'm from, and, and also about um, equine nursing in, in, in the UK. So can you explain to us what it is that you do, because you've been, and why you've been nominated? Um, I am an equine nurse at Rossdale's in Newmarket, and I've been there, it will be 25 years this year. I came to this country uh, because I married a Brit, Mm -hmm. having worked in um, America at the University of Pennsylvania New Bolton Center for several years. And when I came to this country, um, there were no formal qualifications for equine nursing. Mm. So um, thankfully, I ended up with a job as head nurse at Rossdale's, and my boss, Tim Greet, was a a real, real um, champion for equine nurses. So I very much got involved with the whole uh, training and the curriculum and setting up the program and everything with him, with the Royal College, with Beva, and various other big names in as equine surgeons in Britain and it just snowballed from there so now we have um, training colleges and um, exams through the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons That's and amazing. Um, so there's we official lots, qualifications there is for veterinary nurses definitely wow an equine veterinary nurse official qualification and we are on the professional register of the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons. Oh my gosh, Bonnie, so, that's incredible. How long so, did it take you to do that? Um, well, it was many different processes through through the years, and I think we were the first cohort of trainees back around 2000, 1999, 2000. I think. Mm. So it's up and running and doing really well now. Well, it's only taken them how many years? 16 years, 17 years to give you an award for it. It's about time. That's all right. (laughs) I think this is for everybody. All the equine nurses who work behind the scenes are rarely recognized, I think, outside. In fact, the public really doesn't know that we exist too much, really. So I hope this is a way to raise the profile to the public. Yeah. So quite excited. And what's the plan for it moving forward? Uh, Well, we continue to just um, have training practices stay on board with the training and this and more and more students will then become qualified and they themselves become lecturers and hopefully they themselves will present and lecture at our national our congresses with the british veterinary nursing association and um, really just build the numbers and build awareness so what do you what would you need do you need any qualifications to be able to be a veterinary nurse yes you do need um gcse's of minimal um, levels and you apply to be a student through the Royal College and um, just just really have a, a very keen interest in horses. Just like a small animal nurse will have a very mm. keen interest in small animals, dogs and cats. Well, thank goodness you met your English husband because we're grateful. Is he sat over there in the corner? He is sitting in the corner <laughs> and he's uh, Welsh. Is he Welsh? <laughs> Well, that's lovely, Robin, but, yes. because I'm part Welsh too. Oh, very so, good. So, okay, I shouldn't say English, so British, yes, so I apologise. very good. But because, you know, that yep. means that you came over here and you've done all this amazing yep. work. Thank you so much. Thank I you. It's incredible. I wish you the best of luck today, and um, we find out in a few hours we who's do. won. We do. Aww. It's all been really, really quite a special day, so... Um, well, it's well all deserved, Bonnie, yeah. because you've done it all, you know, for the love of the industry, which is incredible. For the love of my patience, really. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for listening. I'm at the National Equine Forum all day today and I'll be bringing you interviews with guest speakers, with some of the experts. We'll be live tweeting the conversations that are taking place and photos too. So you can get involved in what's happening at the NEF. Tweet us your questions. What do you think about some of the subjects that are being talked about? Just use hashtag horse hour, hashtag NEF17. The experts here are talking in detail about how we can make changes to the industry. How 
can we improve our equestrian industry? And you're part of that as well. So do tweet us your opinions and your questions. I will speak to you very soon. Bye.